Regina, Rockville, Maryland, the great WMAL. Go. Mr. Levine, sir, it's an honor to speak with you. Um, Thank you. I just wanted to comment about the current administration's attempt to nationalize our health care system. Um, I lived in Italy from 1983 to 1993. I married an Italian architect, and I experienced firsthand, raising two children, what it means to live under a nationalized health care system. And I can affirm to the fact that it was an utter nightmare. And I hope we do not go that route. That is one of the main reasons we moved back to America in 93. And my husband and I, when we moved back, we registered as Republicans, conservatives. And now my husband is saying, why is this wonderful country turning to a socialistic society, which is the very thing we escaped when we left Italy in 93? Because so many of the people in this country are illiterate. They don't understand history. They can't see what's going on in the rest of the world, and they want something for nothing. And that's what they're going to get. You know what they're going to get, actually? Nothing for something. Now, uh, let me ask you a question. Why don't you tell the audience why the system was so miserable in Italy? Well, first of all, we had to pay taxes through the Italian government to uh, my, my son, my husband, who was an architect. I didn't work. I just raised our two kids. Um, he had to pay every month so much to the Italian government for health care service. And when I had two little babies, I, I came to Washington to deliver both of my children, but I went back to Italy to raise them when they were only a few weeks old. So I had to go to the vaccination, inoculation, the whole deal. And you couldn't just go to your family doctor. You had to go to the doctors that they told you to go to. And then I had to go to the main uh, city hall government medical facility center to get the kids vaccinated and inoculated. And that was no day at the beach because I had to wait in lines with all the other mothers, with all the other babies, and I would be with my infants for a couple of hours before we got there to get them vaccinated. So when I became pregnant the second time, being an American from Washington, D.C., and used to the wonderful life over here, I told my husband, okay, this is not going to work. So we got a private uh, OBGYN to follow me. And not only did we have to pay the taxes to the Italian government for the health care, but I also had to pay for the private doctor who followed me. So we had a double whammy going there. Now, just to get a basic procedure, though, you got a whole uh, miserable process you have to go through in these countries to get in the queue, as they call it. Oh, it sounds so lovely. Uh, yes, yes. To, they, they prioritize various illnesses. They prioritize treatments and, uh, and pharmaceuticals. And if you don't get what you need when you need it, tough luck. Exactly right. And, and that even counts for a simple sonogram. If I wanted to make sure everything was okay, I would have to wait months and months and go through loopholes and find the doctor who would do it. It wasn't in my city. I would have had to go to another city or another town. So that's a it, um, it, health care system. Well, in places like Canada, it's almost impossible to get an MRI. Absolutely right. And to get one on time is really impossible. Yep. All right. Well, Gina, get ready. And by the way, you live in Maryland, which is a socialist haven to begin with. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, my friend. Take care. Good talking to you. Thank you, you sir. You too. Excuse me. They call it progressive. It's progressive. Just remember, the liberals use words that define the opposite of what they are and what they do.